whenever I'm traveling from city to city, uh, I always try to look for the best restaurant that city has to offer. And today, we're here in Santa Barbara, one of my favorite cities to visit. And I went online to see what everybody's talking about with regards to the best uh, restaurant to try whenever you're here in Santa Barbara. And the internet has spoken. What did they say? They say, La Superica Tagueria, a Mexican restaurant that is a favorite of Julia Child's. I am very interested in this because, you know, I think Santa Barbara, maybe next to San Diego, might be uh, the two cities that offer the best Mexican restaurant outside of Mexico. I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, so I will check back with you guys in uh, maybe five or 10 minutes. And I'm super excited because I came prepared and I'm came hungry. Guys, I'm so excited for this. I waited about 30 minutes in line and probably another 15 minutes um, after I placed in my order to get my food. The, the line here is out the door, it's crazy. Uh, I was lucky enough to find seating here inside. They also have a patio outside, um, but it's kind of hot, kind of sunny. So I'm gonna uh, stay inside to stay cool and uh, get a little bit of shade. Uh, but let's cut to the chase. Got four items here. There's specials here. My gosh, look at this. Chili. Okay, I got one of their pork tacos. I got one of their specials. Special, like it's like a vegetarian tamale with cream sauce. Oh man, look at this. And a taco rojas. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna show you all these things up close so you can uh, salivate along with me. Okay, I'm gonna go in for the first one, which is probably their most famous item. It's this one right here. Roasted chili pasilla, cheese, marinated pork on three tortillas. It's like a volcano of red pork, marinated meat. Look at that cheese and, and the pasilla chili. And I think that's probably one of the most um, like iconic items or ingredients that they use here at La Superica Taqueria because I see this ingredient being used in a variety of dishes in a variety of like tacos and formats. Someday, they're gonna make a technology where you can actually smell uh, the food that is actually in front of the camera. But I can't wait for this. Going for this first bite. Take a look. Wow. That looks awesome, right? That looks awesome. Here we go. Mm. That roasted pasilla chili. Fantastic. Out of this world. It's got that nice char, like burnt flavor. Oh my goodness. It's smoky. I think the flavor that you really get out of this uh, dish right here is definitely the chili. Look at that. Chopped. And you can see the, the, the char right here. I think they balance this dish perfectly because you got freshly made corn tortillas that you could actually see uh, if you're standing in line peeking inside the kitchen. They are making these corn tortillas fresh and just like the perfect balance with these chili and pork and cheese. Oh, that is fantastic. That is a 10 out of 10 in my book, okay? And I haven't even touched any of the salsa. I got some sauce on the side, some chili. There's probably something that's a little bit more spicy. And this one, I guess, less spicy. You know what? I am going to try and pour a little bit of this in here. Wow. That green chili sauce is not the typical green chili sauce that you get at any other place. In fact, it has a very distinct 
flavor that I wish I knew. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's not what you think, okay? It is not what you think. I think it might be mm, almost minty. Almost minty. You could definitely taste like, okay, the chili is green, right? But I want to say you can really taste like like a distinct minty flavor that is absent from all the other chilies that you ever had. That, my friends, is a must get. Holy smokes. Maybe the second most interesting dish is your tamale. Okay, look at that. It's, it's so pretty. When I am doing my research on the internet and I'm looking at what people are ordering, nearly every single person is getting this thing right here. I've never had tamales with cream sauce. And you, I'm gonna pick at this right here. Wow, look at that. You see the, the, the red chili pepper in here? There's some corn. There's some probably like um, the, the pasilla chili. All right, guys. Just going for that bite. <laughs> There's also potato. There's also potato. The cream is kind of like a cream of mushroom. Yeah, it's kind of like a cream of mushroom. It's super soft, it's super tender, and I think everything is just like super fresh, okay? Mm, that's amazing. The flavor of this one is fairly neutral. Not very strong in flavor, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the red one right here and I am going to just pour some in here. Oh man, look at that. All right, I'm gonna see if that adds uh, some strong flavors to this right here, this tamale. <laughs> no. For me guys, I like strong flavors, so this red chili sauce that I just put on adds a little bit stronger flavor. Did it a little bit more edge. The tamale was a little bit like, you know, it, it kind of just goes along, but that red chili pepper, that, that chili sauce, adds some heat. It adds some flavor, that burnt chili flavor. And it was just so, so good. Okay. I came in to Nasuba Rica Taqueria with very, very high expectations. And so far, okay, my expectations have been met. Taco de Abu Dhabi. And essentially, what that is, is grilled marinated pork served on two corn tortillas. And I gotta show you guys. I think this is the same type of pork that's been used in my La Super Rica special. So, that is pretty awesome, right? I think the way I'm gonna eat this is, number one, I'm gonna do it without the, uh, the salsa, just by itself. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some of this salsa right here. And then maybe top it off with um, more chili sauce. But first, no sauce, gonna eat it like it is, or as it is, I should say. Oh my goodness. There we go, first bite. The reason why this taco tastes so good is probably because of the tortilla. It's soft. It is not dry and hard. Many taco places don't make their tacos fresh or tortillas fresh. And it's just very dry. But this is fluffy. It's moist. And it makes the whole marinated pork taco experience that much better. Now, the pork they use here is the same pork that they use in the La Super Rica special. 
Marinated pork meat. Moist. Lots of flavor. And like I said, I'm gonna enhance this experience by adding salsa. Check this out. Alright, you see some greens? And between the red sauce and the green sauce, which one should you I use? Alright. You know what? Let's go for the red sauce. Here we go. I can die eating this right now and I'll be happy. I'll be fine. I live life having eaten one of the best tacos, if not the best taco that I've ever had outside of Mexico. Mom. Just adding some salsa and some chili sauce on the side just adds more depth and more texture and the taco becomes even more balanced, right? I started with two ingredients but now I add some color and some juice presumably from the sauce and that really really elevates this taco up to the next level, okay? If this was a 9, I think uh, with the sauce and the salsa adds another half point, okay? To my rating scale. You know what? Okay, not even a half point. I'm gonna add a full point um, to my food rating scale. 10 out of 10 with all those uh, salsa and sauces combined. Now, the other, or I should say, the last taco that I got, and the staff here said it was very, very popular, Tacos de Rajas, okay? Saute strips of chili pasilla, onion, and cheese just on two tortillas. So, like I said before, the pasilla chili is a common ingredient that's been used on a number of items on their menu. Yeah. Let me just uh, poke at it a little bit. Oh, you can see the cheese. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Eating it just as is. Here we go. Guys, that's a 10 out of 10. Hands down. Okay. I think I said this before. I'm gonna say it again. This place is the best tacos that I've ever had. It's been a while since I've been to Mexico. But at least outside of Mexico, I will now will say this is the best I've ever had. I just think they know how to cook that pasilla pepper so well. It's, it's like that perfect char without being burnt. This doesn't even need the sauces. It's that good, okay? Mm. Mm. This is actually too good. It's too good. I wish this restaurant <coughs> was next to where I live. I'd be visiting this restaurant every single day. Alright, okay, it's that good. I'm not exaggerating. Come check it out for yourself. Okay? I just walked through four dishes, okay? Starting with the La Super Rica special, then the tamale with cream sauce, then the taco de adobado, and then now taco de rajas. Each one has surprised me that good. Wow. Like I said before, I came in today with very, very high expectations given the, the hype and especially the line that was outside the door. 
30 minute wait and then another 15 minute wait after I place my order. So, what I think of this place, you guys already know, okay? Do yourself a favor, the next time you guys are here in Santa Barbara, definitely check out La Superiga Tecadilla. The hype is real, the food at least meets the crazy high expectation, if not it beats it, okay? I think it beats it for me, even though my expectations have been so, so high. But I'm so glad after so many years I've had a chance to try this. Um, and today was a good day, guys. It was a good day. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's uh, review on La Suba Rica Taqueria uh, here in Santa Barbara. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, give me a big thumbs up, give me a like, let me know your comments down below in the description box. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my new YouTube channel, Epicure and Eric, now's the time to hit that uh, subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification icon on the top right hand corner of your screen so you always get notified when I post my next video. That's it guys, I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace out.